Really basic rules for diagramming for all of your corporate and tax needs. Hi, Connor. Why do we like diagramming so much? Hi, Professor Christians. We love diagramming because diagramming is telling stories about private and corporate law and specifically about things that people own and what they do with those things. Exactly. We're building a visual vocabulary that streamlines conversations about corporations and the things they do with their money. What are the building blocks for our visual vocabulary? So there are four main building blocks. We have corporations, which we draw inside a box. And then we're also going to add the name of the corporation inside the box. Let's say C Corp. Next, we have partnerships. We draw them with an oval, and let's put the name in there. Let's call it ABLP. Then we have trusts, which we diagram with a tri triangle, because the triangle visually represents the three parties to a trust, namely the settler, the trustee, and the beneficiary. One of our favorite shapes. And finally, we have individuals. We can put their name or usually initials. So let's say A and B for Allison and Walbert. And what actions do we want to show next? We want to show two things. First, we want to show ownership with a connecting line. Say, for example, that A and B both own C Corp as shareholders. And then second, we want to show transfers, usually with a disconnected line with an arrow. Let's say, for example, if a bank lends money to C Corp, and then if C Corp pays dividends to both A and B. Notice that we always observe top-down hierarchy. Owners of things always have to be placed visually above the things that they own. And also a little wrinkle, if the transaction involves entities from other countries, I'm going to indicate that in the drawing, let's say Canada and the US, and I'll also usually add this dotted line. That's it for this really basic diagramming video. Of course, there's always more to learn about diagramming, but this will get you started. Bye!